The coffee berry borer, otherwise known as La Broca, is a tiny beetle causing major damage. As young cherry matures, CBB is often waiting at the end of the bean. As the bean hardens, the beetle begins to drill into it, thereby claiming a large percentage of farmers' crops. We're seeing a weighted average of between 20 and 25 percent. It's only going to get worse if we don't start taking care of it now. This pest has been found in many other countries. However, it was only found in Hawaii in September of 2010. The coffee berry borer can cut productivity, require extra labor, and ultimately cost you money. Here now is more information and instruction on how best to control the coffee berry borer. With a multi-pronged approach, you can greatly reduce loss. Field sanitation, fungus, trapping, and worker education can minimize damage caused by the beetle. Hi, I'm Suzanne Schreiner, and I'm a Kona coffee farmer. And like all of you, I've been living with CBB for about a year now. It's important to be your own scientist on your farm and understand what's going on in your trees so you can properly manage. Um, sometimes you'll actually see the tail end of the beetle sticking out. Sometimes it's easier to spot them on the green beans, but they'll also be in the red cherry, and sometimes they'll even be in your pinheads, your very small cherry. So look at all size beans. Many CBB experts believe field sanitation is the most effective form of control. Simple sanitation is vital and can be cost effective with a few preventative measures. When I talk about sanitation, I'm making sure that every coffee bean is out of the trees and not thrown on the ground. Explain to your harvest crews that they should not drop green or raisin cherry on the ground. They should either put it in their pocket or in a separate cherry bag. Limit movement of coffee bags through the field. CBB can hitch a ride from one portion of the field to another. Do a final round of gleaning of the field to break the life cycle. In a well-picked field, it should take approximately 16 to 24 hours to glean old crop from five acres of trees. Remove all raisins before pruning trees because just one bean can host multiple generations of CBB. All CBB infested beans should be placed in black garbage bags and into buckets then left in the sun for several days. The heat will kill the beetle. Freezing overnight will also work, as will burial under 12 inches of soil. If you're finding the beetle, you might want to consider spraying the Bovaria bassiana fungus. And when it's time to harvest your coffee, pick it early, pick it often. Best practice, harvest your coffee. 75% of the beetle will be removed in that process. The State Department of Agriculture approved the spraying of Bavaria bassiana fungal spores to treat coffee berry borer. After 20 years of research around the globe, the fungus is the only recommended pesticide for CBB. Two products, Microtrol O, which is certified organic, and Botanigard ES are available in Kona and should be sprayed as soon as CBB or its damage is observed. No matter how much product you're using, be sure to shake the bottle vigorously. You might even need a stirring stick to get the spores off the bottom. The current recommendation is 7 ounces of fungus plus 3 ounces silhouette or widespread surfactant per acre to cover both trees and soil. The surfactant is vital to push the fungus in the boreholes. If you are using a 4 gallon backpack, mix 1 ounce of fungus with 1 tablespoon surfactant. You will need seven four-gallon backpacks mixed with approximately 30 gallons of water to cover an acre. For efficiency with spraying, the fungus can be mixed with soap and oil, neem, EM, some foliar fertilizers, compost tea, BT, as well as some herbicides. Check the compatibility chart available through the company's website. Avoid foliar treatment using spray packs that have contained herbicides. Spray the soil and any downed beans on the ground. Foliar spray cherries in the tree and underside of leaves to the point of runoff. Also spray mulch trees or pulp piles and be sure to cover those piles with a tarp to help kill the CBB. Consider spraying every 60 days. In many countries they will spray twice a month if an infestation is heavy. A pressure hose or a mist blower will maximize your coverage and depending on your tree density and soil it may take 30 to 100 gallons of water per acre for coverage. When spraying the ground, focus spray on any visible soil or between rocks and cracks where beans may lodge. To protect bees, avoid spraying when flowers are present on the tree. Afternoons are ideal as the beetle seems more active at this time. 
UV rays impact the spores. The fungus will live on the tree about two days in direct sun and up to 15 days in full shade. Remember, spores are live, so use water mixture promptly and store the bottle in a cool location. Monitor your cherry regularly. There is no harm in multiple treatments. The fungus will not affect the taste of coffee nor harm workers. Traps may not greatly reduce pest populations on your farm. However, they will help to identify trouble spots. Traps are most effective when coffee berry borer is on the move. In other regions, this is immediately after the growing season, as well as about 150 days after flowering. Traps are baited with a 3 to 1 mix of methanol to ethanol, and you can buy these pre-made or you can make them yourselves of simple materials. And on the CTAR website has a full description of how to make them. Traps work best when placed 3 to 5 feet off the ground and at least 20 traps per acre. Use traps along border locations with wild or untended coffee. Use them around mills or processing areas where CBB may be migrating out of fruit. Do not place traps in trees as this will attract coffee bearer borer to cherries. By working together and being vigilant, CBB can be kept under control. Train your workers about CBB, or La Barroca as it's known in Spanish, so they can report to you where the trouble spots in your field are. If you have trouble spots in your field, don't move your bags around, that will move the beetle around. Cover them with a simple mesh tent like this. You can spray with vegetable oil or pyrethrin pesticide, and that will kill the CBB as they escape from the bag that will prevent you from contaminating other areas of your farm. Good housekeeping around mills is critical to prevent spreading CBB infestation. Traps should be placed around the perimeter of the mill and also inside. Harvest the coffee closest to your mill last. That way if any beetle escape your processing, they won't go too far into the field looking for coffee. You might also want to spray fungus more frequently in this area. It's really important to trap the beetles from escaping from your tank. So we take a mesh screen, just window screen, put it over your tank. You can spray it with vegetable oil and the beetles will stick. You can spray it with permethrin, uh, organic pesticide, and the, that will kill the beetles. You don't want the, the screen to touch the water. You want it up above, but that will keep the beetles from coming out of your tank. We stir the tank as you normally would with your floaters to get them to come to the surface and then you're going to skim off the floaters, which will have a fair number of CBB contaminated beans. You need to dispose of them properly. For disposal, put the floaters into a bucket or heavy duty black plastic bag and place them in the sun. If you buy coffee, be sure to return the coffee bag directly to the farmer. We don't want to swap bags and trade CBB from farm to farm. You need to treat the bags after you bring them in. You can um, Dip them in boiling water for two minutes, will kill the CBB that remain in the bag. Or you can put them in soapy water overnight and that will drown the CBB. Cover your pulp piles immediately after use. Consider regularly spraying them with the fungus or pyrethrin pesticide. Keep them tarp to increase the internal heat, which will kill larvae and pupae. About 50% of the beetle can survive processing and go all the way through to parchment stage. So it's important that you take good care all the way through the processing steps. The beetle cannot drill into the bean at a moisture below 12%. So it's important that you get your parchment dry enough. Use a moisture meter to prevent reinfestation in the bag. Once your parchment is at 12%, store it in a Grain Pro bag. That'll keep your moisture stable and keep the CBB from either leaving the bag or reinfesting the parchment inside. For more information, you can call 322-4894 or email andreak at hawaii.edu or visit www.konacoffeefarmers.org.